Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 2a. I, a collector of notes upon subjects that have diversity, such as deviations from concentricity in the lunar crater Copernicus, and a sudden appearance of purple Englishmen, stationary meteor radiance, and a reported growth of hair on the bald head of a mummy, and did the girl swallow the octopus? But my live least interest is not so much in things, as in relations of things. I have spent much time thinking about the alleged pseudo-relations that are called coincidences. What if some of them should not be coincidences? Ambrose Small disappeared, and to only one person could be attributed a motive for his disappearance. Only to one person's motives could the fires in the house in Derby be attributed. Only to one person's motives could be attributed the probable murder of Henry Chapel. But, according to the verdicts in all these cases, the meaning of all is of nothing but coincidence between motives and events. Before I looked into the case of Ambrose Small, I was attracted to it by another seeming coincidence. That there could be any meaning in it seemed so preposterous that, as influenced by much experience, I gave it serious thought. About six years before the disappearance of Ambrose Small, Ambrose Bierce had disappeared. Newspapers all over the world had made much of the mystery of Ambrose Bierce. But what could the disappearance of one Ambrose in Texas have to do with the disappearance of another Ambrose in Canada? Was somebody collecting Ambroses? There was in these questions an appearance of childishness that attracted my respectful attention.